Hi, this is Josh with Resort TV One, and today I'm taking you on a vlog stroll around World Showcase here at Epcot. We hope you enjoy the video. Please remember to leave us a like and a comment, as well as subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already done so. And as you can see, we're right here at the end of the Flower and Garden Festival, so we got Mickey behind us doing his thing, spreading his magic. We've also got a big performance tonight. We'll talk about that here in just a minute, but let's get started with the stroll. All right, so as you can definitely see, there's a huge performance going on here tonight. And it looks like they're doing some rehearsals with some of the music and stuff. So what they're going to do is broadcast Harmonious live on Disney+. Plus. We're going to be streaming it, so this will be posted after that stream, but it's kind of cool to see the pre-show checks and all that. So pretty cool that they're doing something like this and incorporating the parks a little more with Disney+. Plus. A lot of people have been asking for it, and... I know that everybody will enjoy it who watches it. Also, before I forget, before we walk any further, make sure you hit that red subscribe button right below the video. Also, hit the notification bell to be notified every time we go live or have a new video. And also, follow us on social media. We're Resort TV One on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. So we're gonna head around towards Mexico. I always start World Showcase strolls, or most of the time, with Mexico. That's my first destination. Let me know in the comments which side you start on. Everybody has a different opinion on that, probably based on what their family did, but we always started with Mexico and Norway because they always had rides, and as kids, we were not as interested in the countries, but more interested in the rides, like most kids. And by the way, if you're wondering, if this is your first time watching a vlog stroll and you're wondering why I'm talking, a vlog stroll is different than a relaxing stroll for us. And basically... A vlog stroll, I just talk and kind of chat. It's kind of like a, you know, mobile podcast where you just walk around the park and discuss what we see together. And you can leave comments and talk to me. And uh, I'll leave observations as we walk around. But it's different than a live stream in that I can still stop the video if I need to. And uh, it's just my thoughts you're hearing. I'm not reading any chat or anything like that. So a lot of people said they enjoyed this format. So we already did one of these in Future World. And now... It's time to do a journey, almost a mile around a World Showcase to see what we can find. It'll probably be a long video, and that's okay, because I know a lot of you guys like to put these on in the background or as you're driving or whatever else. Don't watch the video when you drive, but you can listen if you want. I do that sometimes. I was thinking the three Caballeros were gone, but I don't think they are right here. I think they're up here. Yeah, they're up there. It's a beautiful day here at Epcot. It's a little cloudy, but not bad. It's not too hot either. It's about 89 or 90 degrees. You see the harmonious barges there. A lot of people have very strong opinions about harmonious one way or the other, and especially those barges. Now, during the day, I will admit they are unsightly but i feel like the show is very magical at night it's one of my favorite things to watch here and i feel like it has a lot of the same heart and soul as happily ever after some people just really really were that fond of illuminations that they they can't let uh, can't let that one go enough to uh, appreciate harmonious i liked illumination i've talked about that before but i just was ready for something different it had been there for 20 years and no, uh, you know, no Magic Kingdom show. Maybe Fantasy uh, in the Sky, but most Magic Kingdom shows didn't get that type of uh, a long lifespan. I wish Happily Ever After it had lasted that long, but anyway, neither here nor there. I ah, hear they are. I always like to get the shot of the Caballeros with Spaceship Earth and the Odyssey behind them. It always looks really cool. Out right there. A good shot. So, we probably won't step through or walk through every country, but uh, you know, we might stop in a few. Like, I'll probably stop in Mexico just to look around at the plaza and not ride the ride this time. Now, who remembers when there used to be pink flamingos in here? right in this grassy area. I believe the 
landscaping was a little different and they had some water because of course they need water to uh, relax in and cool off but it was so cool to see the flamingos here as you walked around I think those same flamingos probably eventually went to uh, or descendants of them anyway went to uh, Animal Kingdom in the flamingo exhibit there as well so still got some at Disney World just not at Epcot And to me, one of the most fun things about walking around World Showcase is seeing all the different points of view around the lagoon. You've got all the different countries, and I know that uh, obviously the view is different now, but you can still see all the countries. You just have to walk to a little different location if the harmonious barges are blocking it a little bit. It's pretty busy today. It is summer, so that's not unusual, but... Definitely busy in World Showcase. I feel like this is a great place to start because it's such a cool pavilion. It's my favorite and it's got that distinctive smell, both from the, the bromine on the ride and then also just from the uh, Kind of a combination of bromine and uh, Mexican food, which is amazing. Also nice that it's completely air conditioned. It's the only hi. It's the only uh, pavilion that is totally air conditioned. Um, all the way throughout so what if those people that wave like that realize that like 10 or 15 thousand people are gonna see them <laughs> oh well usually I cut it out but vlog stroll I'm leaving it in I love this plaza So beautiful the lighting and they've got the uh, projection effects on the on the volcano smoke and every once in a while you'll catch a hidden mickey in there if you really pay attention let's zoom on that here real quick of course the zoom doesn't do as well in the low light but it still looks really cool let's try one more level of zoom it's a little blurry but you can definitely see it <laughs> this is a samsung galaxy s21 ultra so it's got the 10x optical zoom it's a little blurry Sometimes it's just pleasant just to stand here and up on the balcony and just enjoy watching the hustle and bustle just a few feet below. As a kid, I was always fascinated by how well they did at making this into a uh, or look like a uh, Mexican plaza at night. Of course, don't you know? Don't look all the way up too far. You can kind of see the little holes for the work lights and stuff. But try not to look up there and, and um, ruin the the effect very similar to pirates where they make parts of the caribbean where they make you think you're outside but really you're still in the building obviously so all right let's head out nice way to get cooled off for a few minutes too and of course uh the ride is still grand fiesta tour a lot of people speculated that it's going to eventually be uh something to do with coco but uh not yet not yet let's go around this way there are these side exits that are kind of fun. Really lush tropical plant life around here. Also, the wheelchair entrance on the other side here is really cool if you ever get the chance to walk up it. Here, let's walk over there. I think we can get most of the way up it. Of course, this hacienda was not here um, when this was built, and it was just a uh, just the uh, the outdoor, the, the um, nacho place over there. But the, the full-scale building hadn't been built. 
So there was a building, but it wasn't uh, wasn't as big. So so over here they have several plants, all labeled different tropical things here and there. But it's a fun little stroll. They've got some stuff for flower and garden here too. They need orchids. Beautiful. I know my grandmother always tried to grow orchids, and I know they were not easy to grow. I'm going to talk about the different levels of the forest, the canopy level, back there with the floor level, so on and so forth. Different plants that thrive at each level. Rainforest, vanilla in the rainforest. It's cool. Got a Hawaiian tea here, which is really pretty. It's a nice little escape. Oh, there's where it says forest floor. Thick roots and shallow soil, interesting. Meet and greet over here, usually with Donald. As far as areas to watch Harmonious, this isn't too bad of a spot, even though you're not gonna see the Stargate. You really wanna be closer to the middle of the back or the front. A lot of people talk about how uh, you know um, illuminations have more viable viewing locations and that's very true the very true statement they did their best they could with all the the screens that kind of surround you know the four tacos that surround the stargate as we call it but uh still are less viewing angles for sure less viable viewing angles if you want to see everything now you can see the fireworks from from anywhere but a lot of the show does take place on the screen Oh, here we gotta go say hi to the troll. Uh, always love topiary trolls, why not? Got the Royal Summer House, a really nice addition, and the uh, shop over here, which isn't open still. I believe the Anna and Elsa meet and greet's open, but the shop, wait, the shop is open. It hadn't been. Oh, well, let's go check it out. It had been closed for a long time. Cool. Oh, the landscape and the rock face back there is really cool. Got the famous Norwegian bakery over here. Everybody loves the school bread. Wandering reindeer, not oaken. <laughs> Let's see what they got in here. Oh, interesting. So this is just uh, like more exhibits. That's interesting. Yeah. Norwegian language around the top there. And they used to have all this here, I believe, but then they had the merchandise inside. So uh, I guess this is just the end of the meet and greet. So that's why this is open. So can't buy anything, but they do have um, the exit to the meet and greet right there. So. wood shop here. Pretty cool. Of course, woodworking a huge, huge part of Norwegian culture. And a lot of you know my family ancestry is from uh, Sweden. So not Norway, but very close, Scandinavia. So this kind of Norway here kind of represents that whole Scandinavian area. Now let's sneak through here, by the way. It's one of the only bathrooms on this side and then 
used to be one of the exits to the ride too, I believe. Maybe not, maybe I'm, I'm wrong on that, but a lot of people don't know there's a restroom back there. And I'm told that when Norway, or before Norway was built, because uh, Epcot opened without Norway, Norway was built a few years later, and I'm told that only only thing here when Epcot first opened was just a uh, restroom. So, gotta love the uh, grass roof here. <laughs> A lot of people don't know this either, but you can go in to this uh, stave church here. It's pretty cool. They've got all the uh, Norwegian or the Norse mythology, the gods. Let me go in real quick. So it's very busy, but you can kind of get a get a sense of what's going on in here. All right, and of course, everybody knows where the frozen ride is. Now that, uh Acre Shoes, or however you say it, restaurant is not open. They did have it as a uh, a mask-free area whenever masks were required outside, like a mask rest area for a while. But that's been closed for a little while. One of the things, though, is why I love these Norwegian village here that they built. And then there's another really cool one inside, of course, the queue. But one of the things that I really love is this waterfall, even though the boats don't come out anymore. I think they just wanted to keep it darker inside there. They could have still done that, I feel like, but uh, they closed it off. It would, I don't think it would have affected the story too much. But I, I do miss that whenever in the old uh, Maelstrom ride that they had the boats coming out the back there. Fun to see them and hear everybody scream when they thought they were going to go over the back. It didn't really get that close, but it was still fun. Next stop on our world tour will be China. <laughs> on an Elsa, of course. I got them out in a more central location. They had been out in front of their meet and greet, the topiaries, but they moved, moved them out here. Makes it easier for people to stop real quick and take a picture and move on. come into China. So many cool little outdoor booths here that you can enjoy. The Lotus House and then there's the tea house up the sidewalk just a little bit. They've had these parasols and puppets for so long over here too. It's really tempting for kids when you walk by. This is one of the more beautiful pavilions. And uh, you know, the only attractions are the shop and then the, uh, the movie, of course. And the film is great. It is supposed to be uh, replaced eventually, according to the uh, Epcot Experience movie. But we'll go in real quick and then we gotta head around the, the world here. Love these gardens. Very traditional and beautiful. Peaceful and relaxing. And uh, 
There's the gardens on the other side and some walkways too around some of these you can walk around and just enjoy here. They uh, have a princess meet and greet over there on the other side of Mulan, Mulan uh, meet and greet, but uh, sometimes they don't have the meet and greet and you can walk around a little bit and enjoy. So let's, let's walk this way here real quick before we go inside the temple. Do such a good job with the landscaping and everything here to make you feel like you're really in China or whatever country you're in at the time. Got this peaceful little bridge here, a waterfall. Got some exhibits based on the different Chinese zodiac years. The year the rooster, the dog, the dragon, the snake, the sheep, the horse. Let's see if I remember all of them. The monkey. There you go. They're really cool plants here. Dwarf of Buddha belly. <laughs> I can see why. It's pretty cool. And of course, pandas over here. Pretty cool. All right, let's head inside the temple. Hopefully, you don't hear too much wind noise. It's very windy today, but I do have the windscreens on. So, we'll see how that goes when I go back and edit. <laughs> This is Reflections of China. I can't remember what the new one's gonna be called, but uh, be cool to see eventually if they do end up doing it. Ah, oh, they're doing the meet and greet inside now. So cool. Let's switch to wide angle in here. Yeah, that's better. It's a lot easier to get a sense of how, just how detailed this is. It's all hand painted. Truly a work of art. Hopefully that this doesn't make anybody too dizzy using the wide angle, but there's Mulan over there. Pretty cool. Go back to normal mode here. Of course, everybody's getting out of the sun and enjoying some AC while they wait for Reflections of China. And then the theater is right through the doors there. There's the Shanghai Disney Resort um, preview. So definitely check that out when you get a chance. We're going to keep moving, though. We don't want to take too long to get through World Showcase here. Even the, even the ground is circular to kind of match the, the upper area. I'll go through here and um, <clears throat> show this little marketplace. It's really cool the way they have it laid out, like more of a village. And if you really look at the details here, of course, most of this is a shop, and then on the right is just a facade for the, the building that houses 
the theater and queue area, but they've made this part up to be like a hotel, which is really cool. A lot of people don't take the time to walk back in these countries that go back way off the, the beaten track. All the little details, like that little bird cage way up there. Be interesting to see or to figure out what is written in those Chinese characters. By the way, if you're wondering how I know it's a hotel, <laughs> it actually does have some English text there. All right, we're gonna head out around the world. This is definitely gonna be a long video, so I hope you guys enjoy that. Let me know if it's too long and if like, you, I need to make it quicker, or if you like these longer videos that you can really just digest with no, you know, no chat or anything, just me kind of taking you along the parks. It's almost like you're walking with me. That's how I hope that you feel. So let me know. Or if enough people say, no, that's too long, then I can definitely cut it down more for sure. I guess you can always fast forward, but I don't want to make super long videos if nobody wants to watch them, so it's always good to get feedback, for sure. <laughs> we already make pretty long streams, though, don't we? Got a few more animals here. The ox, and the rat, and the pig. a nice view from here too you got a really great view of Germany kind of blocked by trees but not too bad then Italy America a little bit of Japan you can see Morocco and then of course the swan and dolphin I remember when Epcot didn't have the swan and dolphin in that area so you didn't even have that peeking over the skyline it was really just the countries I remember actually being a little bit bothered by how tall the dolphin was and being kind of surprised they allowed it. It definitely doesn't match any of the architecture. Now, you know, it's been there for so long, a lot of people have just gotten used to it, but it's very interesting for sure. I'm gonna head into the next place, which is Africa, but it's not really a representation of Africa as a continent or as any one country, it's just kind of a little outpost. And there's a better representation of Africa in the Animal Kingdom. Mexico. Looks like they're about to bring a boat in or something. We just barely made it. You guys want to see the boat? Let's find a good place to watch. Can't see it too well from here, but I want to point out these boats. I hadn't really ever noticed those before. I remember one of the first times we watched Illuminations, we watched it over here. Well, not a great place, but still can see it decently well all right well if you've never seen the the boat come up before or that not the boat the the uh, hope the boat doesn't come up the bridge come up I will see it better from the other side there it comes Thank you for coming to this pause of your day while we prepare for tonight's thrilling spectacular. 
This is an exciting time as all of us here at Epcot come together to dress from around the world in a global celebration of the magic of Disney music and the music we play together. This breathtaking spectacular filled the night sky of the world showcase the room with magnificent fireworks, lasers, fountains, and a sleeping musical score featuring voices from around the world. Experience the magic as World Showcase for Doom erupts in a grand celebration of human connection and the music that brings us together. Beloved songs from films like Aladdin, Hercules, The Princess and the Frog, Coco, and more. You'll be in awe as powerful melodies meet spectacular fireworks for a journey across the sky. Tonight's performance of Harmonious can easily be seen from anywhere around World Showcase the Moon. Thank you for your patience as we continue to prepare for this incredible lifetime spectacular. All right, we're going to walk around the walk around the world a little bit, and we'll see if we can see a better view of what's coming through. It's pretty cool to see it lift. We haven't, they, I haven't been here when they lifted it. I used to lift it every single day for illuminations, but uh, I didn't know that they lifted it for harmonious, or maybe it's just for tonight's big presentation. So, not sure. But I'm going to walk around here a little bit and see what we can see. Some of these shops here in Africa are still closed, but there's quite a few open. All right. I think if I just get around the, the way here a little bit, you can see more. They probably wait till the uh, bridge is all the way up in order to bring anything through. Oh, you can see from there. There we go. Look at that. Still coming. It's pretty amazing how far they can lift it. And the motors in that that allow that to happen. Obviously, that's how they... If you're wondering how they brought the harmonious barges out... That's how. Now, they don't do that anymore, of course. They, they only did that the first time, and then they anchored them. The original plan was to have them stay somewhere backstage, but they decided to uh, leave them there. They didn't have enough room or anything backstage to put them where they used to store illumination stuff. It's interesting. Smaller boats come through, but nothing, uh, nothing big. Oh, there it comes. This might be for some of the extra fireworks. I'm not sure. This may be the boats that actually um, stock up the fireworks. I'm not sure. Maybe I just haven't been around when they stock it up. You can definitely see all the pyro they're getting ready to put in. It's a big job to stock up the launchers for Harmonious every day. Maybe I just haven't been here during this time. Either way, it's really cool to see it. And these... Uh, barges are just barely too tall to fit. They used to say too during the when they had the uh, New Year's Eve stuff they'd bring out the World War III barges it would be like bigger way bigger barges and a lot more pyro. Looks like that's about it because it is very slowly coming down now. I'm not going to walk back over there, but it is cool if you're ever right next to it when it goes down. It really has a very loud thud when it hits. <laughs> Boom. Definitely wouldn't want to have any, anything under there when it hits. It's pretty cool to see the bridge up and then come down. <laughs> Gotta love the amazing music in Germany. A lot of great places to eat along the lagoon here. And you get you start getting the one thing that changes here is you start to be able to get the uh, awesome spaceship earth view when once you get kind of turn the corner there in the Africa section you finally get a nice view here you look 
really closely, you can see the uh, setup for that big harmonious event. It's pretty cool. Here come the boats back, and they've left those other barges out in the lagoon there. So maybe that is part of the launch system. I'm not sure. Some of you may or may not know that Germany was originally going to have a Rhine River cruise, which is pretty cool. I'm assuming right here at the, uh, not at the beer garden, but at the uh, Summerfest restaurant here. I'm assuming that's where the loading zone would have been. They built part of the building from what I've understand. This tall facade was supposed to be the facade blocking the giant ride building. So I still haven't opened up the shops on this side, the teddy bear and um, the whatever shop over here. We've got the Christmas shop and everything else is pretty cool. And the uh, people in uh, come out of the clock there, the little soldiers and townsfolk or whatever, come out of the clock, which is pretty cool at certain times of the day. At least they used to. I'm not sure. Hopefully, it's, hopefully that still works. So, let's head over into Italy, but not before. Let me check out our friends, the Seven Dwarfs here, real quick. It's really cool. We can make those with a topiary. You're wondering why are there only six? Well, because Dopey is over here by Snow White. And this used to be one of my favorite spots to watch illuminations in Epcot Forever right here by these trash cans, but it's not the best place to watch. Harmonious because you're you're blocked pretty pretty you're blocked pretty hard there by the the burritos not letting you see the Stargate. <laughs> Those are technical terms, of course. One of the best parts about walking through Germany, though, is the train set. It's supposed to be the Romantic Road, which is in Bavaria. They tried to drive the Romantic Road one time, and we lost it. Because, it, you know, it's one of those that, it's an old road that kind of snakes through, I said snakes, kind of snakes through cities and towns and if you don't turn the right way in one of the towns or if there's a sign missing or, you know, maybe we couldn't read because it was in German or whatever, uh, it's easy to uh, get off the track. But we followed it for a while. One of the things I always point out is they've got these little, in the town square, they've got these little flower and garden festival banners, which is pretty neat. Attention to detail. There are several different tracks running through here. Some of them, as you can see, are, are broken. So hopefully they get that fixed eventually, but still pretty cool. It uh, looks like they're working on that tunnel here. Oh, he's working on it now. Oh, it's great to see some TLC being done with this. They really do work hard to keep it moving because, you know, it is outside, so it, it's in the elements all the time.
now we're moving into Italy. Hopefully my phone doesn't overheat. If it does, we'll take a break and come back. Oh, it's like one of the shows going on. So Saad in Italy is so amazing. So like St. Mark's Square or something, I think. And then over here on the right-hand side is more of the Tuscany look. So you've got the Venetian style on the left and the Tuscan style on the right. All right, we just ran into our friend Hey Howdy Hey and his daughter. So stop and talk to them for a minute and uh, He's been in the chat for a long time, while you guys know him, so they're hanging out here at Epcot today. Uh, so the show's over, so we walk through here a little bit. It's a nice place to hang out. The music's relaxing and the views are nice. One of my favorite places is uh, Via Napoli. Back here, it's a great, great place to eat. Awesome fountains here. I believe this is a replica of one in Rome. And of course, this one has the uh, the loincloth there to uh, make it more Disney friendly, but I believe the original one does not. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite places to get pizza here at Disney. The pizza window is not always open, but every once in a while it is. Not open now, it looks like. We got a wine cellar over here. And the Tutto Italia. It used to be Alfredo's, which was basically a replica of the original Alfredo's in Italy. Like, I feel like I'm a wedding. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Oh wow, they're doing some test shots with the camera here. They've got a camera on a boom. I believe that's what that's called. They're doing some testing. So they'll be using this as one of their camera sites for Harmonious. And what's interesting is, it seems like they're really trying to make this a great production. The original live stream of Harmonious, I believe, didn't have the right angles and a lot of people got the wrong impression of it, I think, from the official Disney live stream of it. Get some cool shots with that. That's coming way out here. Of course, the gelateria is uh, now permanent, but this little town square over here is really cool. It's kind of new, new construction. Almost like a capped over fountain. Either way, a nice place to sit and pretend you're in Italy for a minute. So, pretty cool. All right, we're almost halfway.
And this is another good place to watch. Harmonious, except for you need to kind of find a way to get out from behind the shadow of the trees. That's the hard part. Because if you're doing video, these trees are going to block you a little bit. So you can see the screens really well, but you're going to be blocked up high. So just remember to kind of keep that in mind. You can see all the screens and even Spaceship Earth really well from here, though. And if you're not trying to get pictures or video, it's, it's not bad. So. And again, today is the 21st of June and it looks like the concert tonight is Element. I'm not sure who exactly that is. I have to look it up, but either way, pretty cool. They've been doing these concerts every night, whether it's a more of a nationally known act or maybe it's a local act, but either way, it's been cool. I will walk in the American Adventure real quick just to cool off and we'll head around around the rest of the World Showcase.
Oh, that was amazing. Very nice. That cut history right there. Oh, amazing. <clears throat> we're gonna go look at the. Uh, we're gonna go look at the uh, Native American exhibit real quick, and then we'll head out. Nice, because we usually get a lot of lag in this building, so it'll be nice to uh, nice to show it with you with no lag. I'll show it to you with no lag, I should say. <laughs> you know what I mean. really neat uh, exhibit for sure. A lot of the artifacts and, and uh, pieces shown are, are more modern, but still really neat collection. Different styles of clothing from different nations and tribes. It's really cool. section about the music here which is cool. Can't really hear it because it's kind of echoey in here but it's pretty neat. All right we're gonna head outside. Gotta kind of chop that up because the uh, colors of the wind will probably get copyright claim but still pretty awesome to hear it for sure. All right, everybody. Well, I have made an executive decision here. This video is already really long and I had originally intended to go all the way around, but I think I'm gonna save the rest of the journey for another day. And uh, this will be part one, stopping here at the American Adventure. And part two will continue around all the way to Canada. So that way uh, I don't tire myself out too much doing this because it is warm, but have definitely enjoyed talking with you around this half of a Grand Circle tour of World Showcase. And that way it'll maybe break it up into more digestible pieces. It's probably still like 45 minutes long or more. So uh, either way, tons of fun, guys. Thank you for joining us for this epic walk around, or at least half an epic walk around of World Showcase. And we'll see you for part two. All right, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, leave a comment, all that stuff. I'll see you on the next one. So thanks again for joining me on this tour around half of World Showcase. Had a lot of cool stuff. Tomorrow's Child, um, the uh, amazing bridge lifting for Harmonious and all kinds of great stuff. And seeing even the uh, preparations for the show later tonight as they're going to show uh, Harmonious live on Disney+. Plus. So lots of cool stuff today in the stroll. Uh, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time. So for now, have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye bye